Yo, 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 what's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing back at you, man. Damn, what a night that we had, bro. What a night that we had. Action-packed night. I mean, the car was just amazing. Um, it was just an amazing car, man. Uh, my boy Ryu came out with the knockout. Um, uh, Eastside Cruz, I mean, Eastside Cruz is just landing hellacious punches on on uh, Yuriokis Gamboa. Um, of course, we all know Gamboa was a little bit past his prime, but let me get to the main event, the main event that we were all been waiting for. Here we go. First and foremost, man, take my hats off to, to your, your Dennis Ugas, man, who was a, a warrior in this, man. He took a hell of a beating, but he didn't give up, man. His heart stayed in the fight. Now, let's start, let's start. From the first round, both guys were establishing their jabs. Um, both guys were stabbing the jabs to the body. Um, especially uh, your Dennis Ugas stabbing, trying to stab the jab to, to Earl's body, and I know why he was doing that because your Dennis Ugas came out. He 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 stated that one of his um, one of his goals was to set up. He wanted to land the over the overhand right, and the reason why he was stabbing uh, Earl to the body was because he was trying to get Earl to drop drop his hands or whatnot and uh, set up that overhand right. But man, was Earl uh, coming back? See, the thing is, Earl Spence Jr. has very high ring iq very high ring iq and i'm gonna explain how earl spence not only did not allow your dennis ugas to get into a rhythm earl spence was constantly constantly um he, he constantly pressure er uh, your dennis ugas you see the thing about your dennis ugas is your dennis ugas uh, wants himself to um he likes to counter he likes to counter to the body with the double like he'll he'll counter not the double hook but he'll counter to the body with both hooks right and so and he and so what you do with it when, when you fight a counter puncher the best thing to do is smother them because then you give them nothing to counter and that's exactly what earl did earl was i mean earl would earl, earl, your or Den, your dennis ugas is at one point didn't even uh, he wasn't throwing a jab or anything. He just kept allowing Earl Spence to throw throw a uh, throw a jab to then go to the body, and then as soon as he go to the body, he'll smother him, step in and smother him. And uh, your Dennis Ugas had nothing for it. He couldn't keep Earl Spence off of him, and that allowed Earl Spence to get his body work in. Earl Spence is a very great inside fighter, and that allowed Earl Spence to get his vicious uh, body hooks off. And your Dennis Ugas couldn't do a damn thing about it because your Dennis Ugas, I told you, he's wide with his body hooks. So with Earl Spence being on the inside, smothering him. Your Dennis Ugas had nothing for Earl in the inside. Now, the thing that your Dennis Ugas should have been doing more so was your Dennis Ugas should have been keeping that, keeping that um, left hand, that left jab out, or at least keeping that hand out to prevent Earl Spence from trying to come in. But your Dennis Ugas, he, your Dennis Ugas, he, he just allowed Earl Spence to come in because, and, and the, one of the reasons why is because Earl Spence was throwing such hard body shots. Your Dennis Ugas was trying to protect his body, but he did not have anything. He he because he was trying to protect his body. That means he couldn't he couldn't he didn't want to stick that that jab hand out. He didn't want to stick that left hand out to keep Errol Spence from coming in. He was um allowing he 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 didn't he he was trying to protect his body so much that he couldn't keep Errol Spence. He couldn't prevent him from coming in. Errol Spence once he once he would come in he would put that head on on, on his shoulder. He just dig to the body, dig up top. I mean your your Dennis Ugas um your Dennis Ugas. Uh, uh, I was beginning to swell. I mean, Errol Spence was just tattooing. It's almost like he couldn't miss. Then at one point, at one point, this is this is this is what what kind of irritates me when the referee stops the fight in between, like in the midst of somebody, like in the midst of Errol Spence getting his just a, a great momentum in. Uh, the referee stopped the fight. He did not stop the fight. He paused the fight. And uh, took your Dennis Ugas to the corner so they can check him. And the, and the reason why I don't like that is because I don't like that because, bro, it's not. Yes, I get that they're protecting the fighter, but I feel like they should do that in between the rounds because it's not fair to the fighter that has the momentum. Earl Spence has created that momentum and built that momentum. And your Dennis Ugas, it, he, he like that. I mean, with the referee, you know, putting a, a halt on the fight, that takes away the momentum from Earl Spence, the momentum that Earl Spence worked on making and creating. So. I, um, I didn't like that, but then it didn't, you know, the, the doctor gave him the clear, he went ahead and go, the referee let the fight go back, and, and Errol Spence picked up right where he left off, so then, I can't remember what round this was, I think maybe round seven, um, your Dennis Ugas then proceeds to uh, land a punch, Errol Spence's mouthpiece came in, came out, now, I knew this from the, uh, from the get beginning that Errol Spence wasn't hurt, but, um, 
Earl Spence, when his mouthpiece dropped, Earl Spence looked down at mouth, his mouthpiece. Made it. it was a, a very, very rookie mistake. Earl Spence uh, looked down at his mouthpiece and kept um, and, and, and is walking to it because he thought the referee had called a stop. And your Dennis Ugas uh, proceeded to land a, a, probably the best punch that he could land all night because Earl Spence wasn't expecting it. Earl Spence um, was looking down at the mouthpiece and, and your Dennis Ugas landed the hardest punch that he could land. And it sent Earl to the ropes. However, Earl wasn't buckled. He wasn't wobbled. He wasn't hurt. He just it sent Earl to the ropes or whatnot. But it was uh, clearly because Earl Spence, um, Earl Spence thought the referee, you know, he thought the referee said stop or whatnot, and he made a, a, a rookie mistake and was looking down at the mouthpiece. And your Dennis Ugas did rightfully so. He took advantage because at the end of the day, it's protect yourself at all times. So after your Dennis Ugas proceeds to land that land that good right hand on Earl and then he landed a few more good shots you know a lot of people thought Earl was hurt Earl composed himself and then took over the rest of that round however that round definitely belonged to Earl, your Dennis Ugas which was the only round your Dennis Ugas won after that the next round Earl Spence picked up right where he left off I mean tattooing your Dennis Ugas to the body with vicious hooks your Dennis Ugas uh, once again not being able to keep Earl Spence off of him. The thing, of, the thing about it is Earl Spence did not allow your Dennis Ugas to have any type of momentum in this fight. Not any type of momentum. Your uh, Earl Spence would would jab, stab to the body, jab, then coach, and, 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 and he'll jab and then um, he'll throw like he'll throw a left hand to the body, and as soon as he throws left hand, boom, he'll step right in. Earl, your Dennis Ugas once again couldn't do anything with Earl on the inside because your Dennis Ugas is used to throwing hard, uh, used to being wide with his um, with his body shots. Your Dennis Ugas had nothing. He just had nothing for Earl Spence. Earl Spence was pushing your Dennis, your Dennis Ugas back. Your Dennis Ugas eyes constantly starting to swell up, starting to swell up more, um, and then to the to the point where um, the referee then calls a halt. The, the the doctor comes up, uh, places his hands on, um, places his hand over your Dennis Ugas eye, and your Dennis Ugas um, couldn't see. Uh, well, I think it was his right eye. Might have been it was it was his right eye, but he 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 couldn't see, and the referee had no choice but to stop the fight, man. Great, great, great statement made by Errol Spence. Your Dennis Ugas has never been stopped before. He has never been stopped before, and Errol Spence has been the first to stop your Dennis Ugas in a hellacious man. It's just a very good fight, man. Errol Spence then proceeds to call out. Uh, Terrence Crawford He says y'all know who I want I want Terrence Crawford That's the fight that I want That's the fight that the fans want So that's the fight that we are definitely I, I feel like we're going to get that fight this this year Let me know what you guys think about the fight Check out these highlights that I've put together Just for you guys Just to see um, the highlights of the fight man Let me know what you guys think um, Great performance Errol Smith is back He made a statement Who do you have between Errol Smith and Terrence Crawford Hey But what do I know Enjoy the highlights God bless and follow